Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to give my car a new look. I was thinking about changing the color of the bumper, and why not? So here, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here are the tools and things that you're gonna need. 6 spray cans of base coat. 3 cans is equivalent to 3 coatings each bumper. 1 can of primer. This will be used for corrections. If you want to paint the whole bumper with a primer, then buy 2 cans to suffice. 2 cans of clear coat. I will only apply one coat each bumper. Several sheets of sandpaper for corrections and preparations. Body filler, hardener, and a spreader. A screwdriver and a 10mm spanner. Masking tape, a dipper, basin, or anything that can be used for wet sanding. An alcohol, safety gloves, a rag, face mask, and a safety glass. The first step is to remove the license plate. Remove any sticker from the bumper. Now that everything is removed in the front, Time to loosen all the bumper bolts and nuts. In the Civic EG, there are 5 bolts on the frame. Remove it using a screwdriver. Underneath, there are 2 bolts to remove. Use a 10mm spanner to loosen those 2 bolts. Inside the fender liner, there is 1 bolt. Use a screwdriver to remove it. Don't forget to loosen the other side too, then gently pull the bumper. Time to remove the rear bumper. There will be 5 bolts on the frame and you will use a screwdriver. Underneath will be the same as the front. Use a 10mm spanner to do this job. Don't forget the bolt under the arches. The rear consists of 9 bolts to remove. If your car is equipped with a mudguard, it would be a pain in the ass to remove. It consists of 11 bolts, and that 2 bolts added is hard to access as shown in the video. If your car is lowered, then you will have to remove the tires or remove the mudguard before the bumper. The mudguard is held by two screws on the bumper, one bolt on the chassis. The mudguards will be cleaned before reinstallation. Make sure to remove the four small retainer, two retainers each side. Next step is to clean the bumper. You don't want to sand it with dirt, so better clean it before sanding. Let the bumper dry off. You can wipe it off to hasten the process. Here is a closer view of the scratches. Before sanding, make sure to wear a face mask to prevent yourself from inhaling dust. Then grab a 280 sandpaper to clear off deep scratches. Your bumper should look like this. After that, clean the bumper with a rag and alcohol. Mark those dents and deep scratches using a pencil pen. This is a better method to prevent yourself from panicking when applying the body filler. Body filler will dry off fast, so it is important that you know where to put the filler before it dries off. Now put some filler onto the spreader. Grab a hardener and put a small amount only. The more hardener you put, the faster it dries. Mix it by pressing the spreader. 
The mixture should become color pink. If the mixture is pale pink, then it would dry off a bit longer. Once the application is finished, let it dry. Switch to the front bumper and start sanding. Grab a 100 grit sandpaper for deep scratches under the bumper. Sand it until smooth. If those deep scratches disappeared, switch to 280 grit sandpaper to smoothen the surface. Do it for the rest of the bumper. The front bumper has a lot of corrections to be made. While sanding, I discovered that this bumper was painted black, and the original color was red. This is due to the replacement of the dealership way back several years ago. Mark those spots that needs correction. Don't forget to clean the area before applying body filler. This piece of wood is a great alternative to sanding block, which can be bought in your local hardware store. I am using a 100 grit sandpaper to sand off the filler. Don't use the 100 grit to sand off the plastic. Remember to use it only on the body filler and underneath the bumper which has rough scratches. The front bumper is done with 100 grit. Next is the rear bumper. Wanting to remind you, when you start to feel the surface is about to become flat, stop sanding and switch to 280 grit to smoothen the surface of the bumper. After sanding, I added some body filler on both bumpers to match the desired shape. If you will do this, just repeat the process of sanding. It is a good idea to clean the bumper before sanding. This will prevent you from sanding the dirt particles on the surface of the bumper. When you're finished with 280 grit, switch to 320 to smoothen the bumper. Here how it looks like when you finish sanding. Time to wash the bumper to prepare it for wet sanding. So here I have a dipper filled with water and soap. A 600 grit sandpaper will be used to wet sand the bumper. Start wet sanding. It should feel smooth when you're about to finish. Now that the front bumper is done, time to clean it and let it dry. Do the same thing on the rear bumper. While waiting for both bumpers to dry, grab your primer and shake it for 1 minute. Then hold it upside down and spray a bit. This method ensures that the nozzle is clean and ready to paint. Since I only have one primer, 
I will focus on certain spots with rough surface. For the first coat, you can spray it a bit thicker than usual. Primer is used to fill scratches and imperfections. After the first coating, you will sand it off anyways. Let the primer dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Then grab a 1200 grit sandpaper. Actually, I should be using 1000 grit, but this is the only grit available in the market. Just repeat the same process of wet sanding. This is how it looks like when you're finished. Wash the bumper and let it dry. Do the same thing for the other bumper. Another tip, when you apply too much primer, you can use an 800 grit sandpaper to level the surface faster. Here is a closer look on the bumper. Those small dents need to be filled and that is why you need a primer in painting a bumper. After you use the 800 grit, switch to a higher grit like 1000 or 1200. Repeat all the process. If those imperfections are still there, apply some primer and do it all over again. Here I finish applying primer and wet sand. Next is to clean. Use a microfiber and soap to clean the bumper thoroughly. Just take your time in cleaning since this is the preparation for painting the bumper. After that, make sure that the bumper is completely dry. Here's how the bumper looks like after cleaning. This concludes the first part of how to paint your bumper. In the next video, I will show you how to paint the bumper and the result of the finished product. So stay tuned. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.